What's up, y'all? This Nick here. I just got his fresh haircut. Woo! All right. Now I'm looking a little bit younger, you know, I took like five years off. But anyways, I'm up here with a new update. So as you can see right here, I have the bike craze, V craze. Anyways, I got a spoiler, got the duck bill. Also next to it, we have the Helix, or I keep saying Helix for some reason. It's Helix or Helix um, wrap. So we got the new wrap here and we have the spoiler. Okay, so this is testing the reverse contactor. So I changed up the code a little bit, so this is how it looks now. Okay, so down here, this is a new print I did, and as you can see, it's not like flimsy like the old one was. But we still gotta reprint it again with PETG because this is PLA, this is just a test fit. And then right here, this is where we're gonna put a metal piece. But when I reprint it this time, I'll put like, probably like a little metal rod or a flat bar up here. Or maybe just cut something down and like glue it or something. We'll see, but reverse. the contractor again so make sure that's off no load off I just try turning it on see what happens all right nothing happens when no contactors are connected and then we're gonna turn the other contact on now the right one I'm gonna watch that one for a quick second because I saw a disconnect earlier I don't know why but we'll see real quick doesn't disconnect, turn it on. Turn it on again. All right, turn it off. And we're gonna turn both contactors back to uh, neutral. All right, and we'll try a photometer again. Nothing happens, which is good. And the photometer's back to off. And next one. Okay, so when testing this, um, good thing I was here to like make sure it was good because as soon as the water started running through, um, it sucked all the water out of the reservoir before the first amount of water started coming back out the radiator. So I ended up uh, siphoning out some more water into here and now we're good so as you can tell there's no bubbles in the fuel i mean the uh, cooling line so this will be the cooling line 